Welcome back. Race Across America is a 3,000 mile bike ride that travels across the country. Navy veteran Keith Ecker joins me this morning to recap the ride and how the money raised from it will support veterans and first responder programs. Keith, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Casey. How are you? Good. Where are you right now? I am in a hotel uh, about to head to Lone Pine, California um, to help out a buddy with a race that he's doing. All right, well, let's talk about that race after we talk about the race across America, because uh, while you were racing yourself, I had the opportunity to speak with one of the crew members who was along the race with you. They were waiting for you guys to arrive in Annapolis, Maryland. That was your final destination. Talk about this race across America and the organization that you were racing for. So Race Across America is a 3,000 70 mile bike race from Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. And um, I was riding with Team Aligned Alliance. Uh, the captains of the team were Monty Heath and Rhonda Viteri. And together, they put together a team of riders and we raised over $220,000 for Guardian Revival, which is a nonprofit organization aimed at helping veterans and first responders with mental health issues. Talk more about the programs through Guardian Revival. They have a few here, their Boots and Paws program and another summit program where they bring veterans and first responders out on hikes and supply them with different gear. So the Guardian Revival really does a lot. Yeah, so um, Boots and Paws program is a canine therapy program that supplies uh, veterans and first responders with service dogs and companion dogs. and. Uh, these dogs are, uh, you know, given to the veteran or first responder free of uh, free of charge. Um, the Guardian Revival supplies a year of, of training, a year of food, a year of vet bills, and um, I've seen it firsthand work with so many um, of the veterans and first responders that the dogs were donated to. Um, and it's very cool to see, and it's it's fun to see the um, the look in the veterans' eyes when they are handed their new puppy for the first time. It's uh, really exciting and I've seen it work firsthand. It's, uh, it's a great way to combat mental health struggles. Can you tell us more about the founder of Guardian Revival and who he is and why this was so important to him personally? Yes, so the founder of Guardian Revival is Alex Othmer. He's a uh, former Navy SEAL who uh, has some ties to San Diego. And when he got out of the Navy, he noticed that he was struggling with some problems himself and he noticed that a ton of people around him were struggling with some problems, um, mental health issues. So he decided to take action and do something about it. And he formed Guardian Revival. And since then they've donated over 20 service dogs. They've taken hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of veterans out on hikes and walks. Um, and they just started a music therapy program where they're gonna be donating musical instruments in recording studio time and donating a um, music therapist to talk to and help out service members that need help. So it's, um, Alex has done a lot and Guardian Revival is gonna continue to do so into the future. All right, well, Keith, I know that one of these, doing these races is nothing new to you. You like to bring yourself some challenges. I know you do the Iditarod in Alaska, you did the Race Across America, and you're helping someone out who's a mentor of yours, um, Kevin Stark, I believe, for the bad water races that you're starting on Monday. What What is the bad water races? Yeah, so um, I'll be helping out uh, a mentor of mine, Kevin Stark. He's racing bad water 135, which a lot of people consider it to be the hardest ultra marathon around. It's 135 miles from Death Valley um, to Mount Whitney. So it's uh, race temperatures are going to be starting out at about 120 degrees. And um, I'll be on his crew. So I'll just be helping him whatever he needs, whether it's pacing, you know, getting him his food, um, trying to keep him cool, just doing whatever I can to help out, um, you know, where I can. And, uh, you know, I, it'd be great to get him on here to talk about it because it is a mm -hmm. very brutal race. Um, people's shoes melt. Um, you know, people have to like lay in, you know, coffins of ice, you know, for minutes at a time to cool down. It, it really is a brutal race. So I'm really excited to help him with that. And um, yeah, it'd be great for y'all to talk to him. All right. Well, I would love to talk to him because he's also raising money for a great organization. You told me just the other day, the Challenge Athletes Foundation. So he's out there doing that. Uh, the bad water races sounds not fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to let you know how it goes. Well, thank you, Keith. Good luck. Great to see you. And give us the website for Guardian Revival for those who want to contribute to that cause. 
That's guardianrevival.org, and uh, you can go on there and donate. And, uh, you know, all the money goes to a great cause. That canine therapy, canine therapy program is a great one, and they have so many others too. So all the money goes to a great cause. All right. Well, Keith Ecker, I will see you when you return home to San Diego. Um, be safe out there. Thank you very much. Take care, Casey. Absolutely. See you later.